Hey guys, how's it going? Modern Musket here. I have the HSGI Minimap V2 right here. Wanted to do a video on it. This is by far one of my most favorite pouches that I have in my possession. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack it open. Obviously, you see I got two M4 style magazines right here. Now, I cannot confirm, but I do believe it fits 2308. So if that's more your style, you can fit two of those in there, it does seem. If you have any questions about that, I'd go ahead and hit up HSGI to confirm. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take these out. Uh, there is a lot of room for them, the magazines to swim in there. So there's no form of retention inside the magazine pouch, which is why it comes with the shock cord. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out. So we can go ahead and delve into it a little bit more. And on the back side, you can see it comes with malice clips. Uh, it's a form of molly. It's just plastic clips that take the place of molly. And they integrate with a lot of other Molly products. I haven't had any issues with them. They are a little more difficult to weave, but not super terrible, right? So you go and take those out. So a little bit less stuff hanging. Now with all that out, uh, I will actually show you this real quick. So on the front, you have some pass-through Molly. So you can actually reach all the way through there. That's why I have the Sharpie there to demonstrate that. So if you want to put a chem light in, you can, and you can actually send it all the way through, which is nice. But in my case, for a Sharpie, I would put it in the back. So I would run it through, say, right here. That way it's out of the way. You're not going to lose your writing utensils, and you can have it back behind your magazines. It's out of the way. I wouldn't index here if you're trying to go for a fast reload. So once you use a magazine there, I would just throw it in a dump pouch but this is still going to be sewed away and it makes use of negative space which is i i think a very important aspect of making use of every bit of room you have on your kit without sort of overdoing it you know so with that being said let's go ahead and move to the bottom you can see i have a tourniquet stowed here it is meant for a tourniquet so it's not surprising but it is really stiff it's good quality elastic i'm trying to not hit the camera but works just fine. I've had it in there for about two days now. It's 48 hours constantly. And it is about the same size it was whenever I first got it. So I think that is high quality elastic and it's going to hold up just fine. Here I'm making more use of the Molly. Well, at least simulating it. This is just some spare earplugs I have. So if I ever forget my sword ends, I can just go ahead and put these on. And uh, I got it mounted up with this patch right now. I wouldn't do that, but... It's got that sort of chain material. You just pop that off, run it through your molly section, and that would be fine. Uh, right here, this is a Task Force 69 patch from Grand Thumb, those who are wondering. This is a Badger Hound patch. Uh, that's who makes it. And it's a B, obviously. It's a, it's a nod to Haley Strategic. So for anybody who's going to ask, that's what those two things are. All right, let's go ahead and get into the pouch here. Now, I don't have too many admin stuff. But I do have a lot of medical stuff, so you're going to see my, my mini-map outfitted with more medical-oriented things. But that's not exactly what it was designed for. But it does get the job done. So, on the inside, let's start with this flap here. It's a nice little flap. You could fit a right in the rain if you want. Uh, I accidentally misplaced mine, so I just have a little composition notebook here. Pretty small size. It's a little bit smaller than an iPhone. Uh, I'm currently recording on iPhone 13, and it's about maybe two thirds the length and possibly a little bit wider, but that's about the size a uh, notebook you could fit in. You could fit one a little bit bigger, but just that for size comparison. Here I got two uh, band-aids, pretty big ones, adhesive bandages, whatever you want to call them. But it fits those just fine. A lot of flat products will fit in there really good. So I like that. Uh, also, there's a company, I, I can't think of their name off the top of my head. They recently came out with a laminate three uh what's it called a laminate ranging card so rather than using laser range finders and stuff you can actually use that and guesstimate ranges of things at distance so i actually like that that'd be another good thing to put in there if you're using this more for admin use uh for those who are aware of spirited systems and a lot of their products they have one called the jsta pouch and what that does it allows you to have magazines in the back of it similar to how this one is but also it has an admin sort of setup in the front and it's really popular right now. And I think this sort of fills that same role. It's not perhaps as customizable because there's no uh, Velcro on the inside. But that you see being mounted to the side of cummerbunds a lot. 
and uh, belts. I don't think this would do so well on a belt, but on a cummerbund on the side, I think it would be really good as a little boo-boo pouch. And I'm going to go over some of the things I would personally carry in a boo-boo pouch. Some of this is just, you know, for sizing reference. But uh, for starters, here's red thread locker. It's actually falling through this elastic loop here. Should have put it in this one. This is the smallest elastic retainer out of all of them. It will fit a pen fairly nicely, but this Sharpie is actually a little bit too long. So whenever I put it in, it won't allow me to zip up the, uh, the pouch. So a little bit of a bummer. It would have been nice if it was just a tad bit longer, but I also appreciate the ease of access to the magazines. So you can put thread locker in there. Just, you know, make sure you put it where it's not gonna fall out. And right here, I have some uh, compress. Uh, you can put some hemostatic gauze in there. That would work fine. Some absorbent bandages, trifold bandages, whatever. That's a very large size, and it fits in the middle just fine. And that is the largest elastic retainer on this thing. And you've got two smaller ones up front, so I'm not quite sure what you could fit in the front. Uh, I'm sure hemostats would probably go good right here, as long as you can manage to close the zipper. But in this cell right here, uh, I could fit my Surefire earplugs in there just fine. Uh, although you could just hang it from the exterior. So that's why I, I demonstrated that. But I did have a brand new container or a brand new uh, roll of electrician's tape. And it won't quite fit in that space. So you can't retain that in there really well. But a lot of people tend to hang that from their belt kit anyways. So not a big deal. Over here. I have some, uh, what's it called, liquid skin. So that's really nice. If you get a little cut or abrasion or uh, your cuticles start peeling on your fingers, you can use that to seal it up and prevent infection, which is nice. So that fits together, bundled up in one of these cells. And keep in mind, you have two cells on each of these corners, this being the smallest. But then you also have a large cell in the middle with two more cells off of that and two larger diameter cells as well on the sides of this pouch. Right here, I have some saline solution. It's uh, designated as eyedropper, but I mean, it's saline solution, it's all the same. And these are both 15 milliliters each, which is half an ounce each. So uh, matter of fact, today I actually scratched my eye wearing some contacts, and this would be one of those scenarios where this would come in handy. You know, you could flush your eye, or if you have a small wound, you could flush it with some saline solution. So, that is a useful thing to have on hand. Now, like I said, uh, this is ideally an admin pouch, but like I just demonstrated, you can use it more as a boo-boo pouch. Uh, for those who, who are laughing at the term boo-boo, that's a, that's a moniker used for a less serious injury pouch. So uh, I think it does work in that capacity, although I do firmly believe it works best as an admin pouch. This one I really like because, as you saw, I outfitted it with whatever it is that I personally need. In this case, what, what I could demonstrate size-wise, what it could, uh, could fit. But admin is best. You also get the use of being able to hold magazines in it, which I think is a big win. That's, that definitely adds a lot of value to this pouch. And also, you can have a lot of good uh, flat stuff stored in the back of the front. And if you really wanted to, you can mount Molly stuff on the front side, but I wouldn't really recommend it because it is a clamshell design and this is a front flap pouch. So whenever you open it, it will want to droop and whatever it is that's on the front, it's just going to weigh it down some more. That's up to you, personal opinion. I just personally wouldn't mount anything on it. I would use the front Velcro for IFF patches or just to, just to rock your, your Gucci patches, whatever it is you want to show off. For me, it's grand thumb patches and a uh, nod to Haley Strategic. So all in all, I give this pouch a 9 out of 10. I think it'd be better if there was some better retention on the back. And personally, I'm not a fan of Malice Clips. They work fine. I'm just not a fan. They are harder to install. And for me, it's, it's just a nuisance. But once it's installed, it's installed. You shouldn't have to worry about it. So all in all, 9 out of 10. Really like it. I think it's a great pouch. It's fairly inexpensive for all the features you get, in my opinion. And I would recommend this 110% for anybody trying to make the most out of less space or trying to maximize the amount of stuff they can fit on their kit in a smaller setup. So 
that's my take on it. Guys, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. This wouldn't be a YouTube video if I didn't say that. But I do appreciate your viewership. And keep coming back. I plan on doing more videos. I'll do a video going over this mini-map V2 on a placard that I have built out. And I will show that setup. So guys, thanks again. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one. Take care.